Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to balance this equation and it is a double displacement reaction because we have CuNO3 uh, here and you can see that it then forms a bond with the sodium atom and here we have NaOH and this OH group then forms bond with this Cu or copper atom over here. So uh, we are going to count the number of atoms on both reactant and product side. Here I am going to consider NO3 and OH uh, as groups and I'm just going to do that because it will make it very easier for me to count the number of atoms on both the sides. So let's start with counting the number of atoms. Here we have one copper atom on the reactant side, one on the product side as well. We have NO3 group which are two in number for the reactant side but we have only one group on the product side. For sodium we have one sodium atom on the reactant side and we have one sodium atom on the product side as well. We have one OH group on the reactant side and we have two OH group on the product side. So we first need to fix the number of NO3 groups on both the sides and for doing that we just need to add a coefficient 2 before this molecule and this will also change the number of atoms for sodium atom as well. So we have two sodium atoms on product side and auto kind of balance it off we need to add a coefficient on the reactant side as well which in turn will also balance our OH groups so once you add a coefficient 2 over here we have two sodium atoms on both reactant and product side and two OH groups on both these sides and now this equation is balanced and I hope this video helps you to know how we can balance such a tricky equation just remember to count these groups as a whole whenever you are coming across such equations it will make your process very easier and your equation will be balanced in under two minutes for more such videos on Lewis structure molecular geometry polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching